Hi, welcome to the new Research Rabbit. Uh, my name is Diggle and I'm one of the developers on the team. I'm here to show you what's changed in Research Rabbit and give you a quick fly through of some of the new things that we've built. So immediately when you land in the new Research Rabbit, everything looks very different. The old Research Rabbit was just one screen that had everything on it. And in the new version, we've broken that out. So you've got your searching in one place and your library in the other. Uh, let's start with the search. So we can search using a keyword using the search bar. What I'm going to do is search using one of my collections, which is what you'll be familiar with from the old research rabbit. So I'm going to come over here to this browse library button and choose one of my collections. I'm going to choose this one here. All right, and now we're in a new search. Now, most of the elements on the screen should look familiar to you. On the left-hand side, we have our results list. In the center, we have a visualization. And on the right, if I click on an article, I will get the full details of the article. This wasn't a great one to choose. It doesn't have an abstract. I'm gonna choose this one instead. Now, the visualization is very different. I'll walk you through some of the changes. To understand this new layout, you can look in the bottom left corner. You see that the y-axis is currently set to citations, so the higher the article is, the more highly cited it is. And the x-axis is set to more recently published. Now you can change these settings by clicking on these axes. There are a lot of different settings, I won't go over them now, but feel free to explore those later. Colored dots on the map represent articles that you've saved to a collection. So you can see that the red articles here are saved to my Peroxy Redoxin 5 folder. Uh, and this blue one here is saved to my maybe list. I guess I'll have to read that one later. Back to searching. Now within a search, just like in the original research rabbit, you're able to select articles that you think are good. So here I'm gonna select a few articles and you'll see that they get queued up in the right hand side. Now, what I can do is click on the search button in the bottom right, and that will expand my search. I will get taken to the next set of results. Great. So you see that the articles I selected have been added as seeds, and the seeds are what are driving the results. This is very similar to how Research Rabbit works currently. You can still go back to your old search by using this navigation up the top here. In a way, you could imagine the old column view we had in Research Rabbit has been expanded so that a column fills the entire screen, but you can still go back to your previous columns using that section up the top. Now it's time to show you some juicy new stuff. This is very cool. What I can do is set advanced search settings to make sure my results are targeting exactly what I want to find. I'll open them up, click on this in the corner, and you can see that I've got some suggested keywords that I could select, or I can choose something like a publication date range, or even filter based on the quality of the journals. So here, I quite like the oxidative stress keywords, so I'm gonna select this. And you can see that the description of my search has been updated, so when I click search, I will now be finding articles that mention that keyword. Great, so you can see in the left hand side, oxidative stress is mentioned in either the title or the abstract of these articles. And it's lightly highlighted there, so I can see where in the abstract that has come through. These new advanced settings are really, really powerful, so I'd encourage you to give those a try if you can. The advanced search features are part of a new subscription bundle called Research Rabbit Plus. Research Rabbit Plus adds new features on top of the existing Research Rabbit experience. But rest assured, we've been working hard to make sure that everything you used to be able to do for free, you absolutely can still do for free. Now, just like the original Research Rabbit, I can keep going forever. So if I click on one of these articles, I can review its references or its citations or its similar articles. Here I'm going to dive into its references by clicking the button in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, these are all right, but actually I'll look at the citations instead. So I'm going to open up the search settings by clicking here and choosing 
citations instead of references. And you'll notice I can also apply these advanced settings into a mode where I'm just looking at a single article of citations or references. Very cool. If you're wondering where to find the author search tools, I will show you. If you open up the search settings, under basic search settings, you can choose authors instead of articles. And if I do that, I can look for the authors that are just present within the seeds that I've selected, or I can find new related authors. Okay, here they are. They're all arranged in a nice circle uh, around my single seed. Um, these are authors which will have co-authorships with the authors of my seed paper. Now, when you're finished with a search, hopefully you found some good articles along the way. You can click the cross button up in the corner here and be taken to a screen where you can review everything that you selected. These all look really good, so I'm going to save them to a collection. Save to, I'm going to create a collection. You'll notice that collections now have colors in ResearchRabbit. This is really useful for visualizing them on the map. Um, it's also just kind of fun. Great, so I've saved all these articles and now I can finish and start a new search whenever I'm ready. Now in your library, you should find all of your research rabbit data has been migrated across. Here's the library space and you'll see that it's much more expanded and much easier to browse through than the previous interface. From here, it's even possible to select some articles and start a new search. Cool. Now, when you land in your library, you might find your migrated collections don't have fun colors, and that's something you should fix right away. Click on the triple dots next to the collection's name and go edit details. Now you can select your preferred color using one of these colored dots here. Okay, that's the basics. There's much more to discover within the new research rabbit. We hope you enjoy the new research rabbit and enjoy your research.